Before I was a library director, I was a library volunteer. When my kids were young, I used to volunteer at the Hinckley Library, helping out with the summer reading programs in the summer. I was a judge for frog jumping contests, balloon toss, and something very disgusting that I don't even like to remember that had to do with watermelon seeds. I also helped tiny little fingers, really sticky with candy goo, build gingerbread houses. And I was an officer for the Friends of the Hinckley Library. As a library director, I know how valuable volunteers are to the library. They assist our staff. They make their jobs easier. They do tasks the staff really have no time to do. They give back to their library and to their community. Last year, we had 155 student volunteers and 67 adult volunteers. I'd like to thank them for giving back a combined total of 3,280 hours of service to the library and the community. Thank you very much. But you can't have too many volunteers. Won't you join us? I can promise you a satisfying and rewarding experience. Our student volunteers may be given any number of tasks to help keep the collection looking nice and to lend a hand to the children's room staff. Often our student volunteers straighten shelves, clean books, remove stickers, mark out barcodes, help with name tags, and other tasks as needed. Sometimes the library uses groups of volunteers to help with projects on a larger scale. The volunteers at Buckeye Library use students for projects such as creating Valentine door hangers for the library's outreach members, helping to pack up the PJs and books for the Snuggle Up and Read program, or helping at community events such as the library's booth, the Chocolate Festival. We're so lucky to have student volunteer help at the library. Uh, they do lots of different tasks daily for us that frees up librarians' time so that we can work on program planning, collection maintenance, and spend more time on our reference questions. Adult volunteers may be used to help with many different tasks. Some common tasks are straightening shelves, desensitizing DVDs, shelving DVDs, cleaning computers, and watering plants. Some of our volunteers are a bit more specialized and work in specific departments. We love our volunteers here at the Medina Library. In this particular branch, the main branch, we circulate over a million items per year, and that's a lot of material. Um, our volunteers come in and help us process that material and get the items out much quicker to you. We have probably average about 25 crates a day of holds. Our volunteers come in and help us to sort the holds. Um, they help us to uh, sort the material that's been returned and get it back on the floor much quicker. So if you're thinking about volunteering for the library, please come see us. We'd love to have you. Some other specialized roles for volunteers include helping in the genealogy department at the Medina Library, or helping in the Professional Resource Center using the Ellison machines and helping to prepare craft materials. The Friends of the Library may use volunteers to help sort materials and help in the Medina Library Friends Bookstore located in the basement. The Bookmate Volunteer Program is nearly 20 years old. The library uses Bookmate volunteers to help deliver materials to our outreach members in their homes. These special volunteers are paired with a member in their area and pick up a bag of materials from the nearest library branch to deliver and visit for a bit. This is a special position and the need may vary by geographical area. I've got to say that um, when I first started doing this, I, I thought, you know, it's going to be, it's, it, it doesn't require a lot of time, but it, it provides a service. And, but honestly, I get so much more out of this than I feel like I put in and, and I don't even feel like a volunteer. I feel more like a friend. That's so what I, I feel. We have become friends. Yes. It started out as, as a routine kind of thing mm -hmm. and it has become something really like I couldn't have asked for something more appropriate and better for my age and I am locked up in this apartment because I can't see. And I look forward every month to having Carl and come and it's, it's one of the highlights of my life these days. <laughs> and one of the highlights of mine, 
I have to say. I like I said, I enjoy her company so much. I'm John. I started volunteering here in 2007 when I was in sixth grade. I am currently a page here at MCDL. Um, as a children's department volunteer, I would shelf books, I peeled the new label stickers off, I would clean books, um, and now I shelf and organize books, I assist members any way that I can, and currently I'm learning how to manage magazines. And so the longer that I'm here, I'm sure I'll learn much more.